Hello, all you flight simmers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and we are back in the uh, Alaska bush trip in from Unalaska, Dutch Harbor to Kaluk Lake. And we are 41% completed. Uh, we are gonna be doing leg six today. So if we click over here, we'll see that uh, we are going to be taking off from uh, Nelson Lagoon, which is where we landed in the last uh, uh, leg. And then we're gonna be flying over to Perryville, uh, which is some 91 kilometer miles away. And so uh, it should be a very scenic uh, trip. And we've got uh, uh, probably about a 45 minute flight today. So I will see you over in the cockpit when we are ready to fly. Okay, I think I am about ready to uh, take off here. Uh, as you can see, uh, I've got the uh, VFR map. Uh, you can kind of see down here, we are facing in the opposite direction. So we're gonna have to take off and then swing back around. And then we're going to be flying off to the end out here and then uh, swinging uh, more to our southerly direction. So. Let me uh, pull back here a little bit and let's uh, rev this thing up. Oh, that's right. They don't start with the brake on. Uh, okay. And let's get up to speed. Let's go ahead and take off. All right. Pull our flaps up. And we need to start swinging around. And which should be a fairly scenic trip. Again, it is a little bit of a pain in the butt uh, flying since I can't use any navigational things such as autopilot or anything like that. So it makes it a little bit more difficult to try to fly this thing while I'm flying it outside and keeping, keeping track of where I'm at. So. We are uh, heading off onto point number one. Uh, and then we're going to be swinging and heading southerly. Uh, I'm not going to try to do all of these. I will uh, kind of point things out if I can. Uh, but uh, let's minimize that. And let's uh, hop outside of the cab here. And we should be flying if we can't trim this out a little bit just to make it a little easier in flying. So we should be heading towards these little islands. And I think if we look at our map on the inside here, we should be just kind of getting to the tip. And then we're gonna be crossing over and starting to turn south. I think that uh, right along through here is the way we wanna go. And I think we're going to be kind of turning southerly down through that way. So, kind of uh, enjoy the flight. I'll uh, try to keep from uh, crashing us here, and I'll try to keep us on course.
I'm not sure I've been doing a very good job of keeping us on course, but I think we are actually on track now. Uh, this is this island right here that we uh, just kind of skirting along the edge. And if we go inside and look at our uh, map here, you can see this is where we're flying along. And you can kind of see that that's the shape of that uh, island. And we're going to be cutting across over to this point. Uh, coming in and then uh, looks like we're going to be kind of cutting along the edge of this uh, landmass right through here and looks like we're going to be flying up this bay right over here and probably cutting across through the mountains so I'm going to hop back outside and let you kind of enjoy the trip and uh, I'll try to keep us on track. believe we are heading for uh, point of interest number three uh, Deer Island I'm not sure if that's right uh, but this little uh, bit of uh, land is this land mass right here and we are heading towards this point right here so you see this bay it's this little finger right here and then we are going to be cutting up and then turning somewhere right in here so keep enjoying uh we're probably going to get to see some pretty uh, breathtaking uh scenery uh because it looks like we're going to be cutting up and through these mountains up and in through here This is an interesting looking feature right here and I can truthfully say that uh, there are places in Alaska that actually do look like that so I don't think that's a, a deformity in the uh, program itself. Now we're going to follow this little uh, creek bed on up and then I think we are going to be turning slightly uh, this direction and I believe we are going to be heading up through here. If we go and look at our map on the inside you can see that we are still matching up pretty well as we're flying up through here so uh, we should be kind of turning about right here I believe and we want to start flying up this this draw right through here over to this bay on the other side of the uh, island So we'll go back outside and continue to uh, enjoy the scenery. Well, I'm not sure which bay this is, but uh, this is exactly where we're at on the map right here. So we are heading towards this point over here, and then we're going to start following along the coastline up along here. Again, as you can see, just some beautiful, beautiful scenery up here. Uh, I've seen a lot of, well, I say I've seen a lot of 
Alaska, a lot of the interior is where uh, I spend all of my time. And so this uh, Aleutian uh, flight is pretty interesting for me. Are coming along this little spot right here this point and so we're going to be kind of starting to swing to our uh, uh, left just a little bit uh, this uh, kind of narrow looking uh, piece of land is that right there we're going to fly right along the edge if we swing around a little bit you can see this bay going back up and into there so we're uh, right on course and uh, just getting to see a lot of beautiful scenery here in the Aleutians. We are crossing over this little uh, point right here. Uh, we're going to be uh, turning to our right slightly and heading straight over to that area right over there. Uh, so this is this bay that uh, kind of comes up, kind of see it coming in and around. And you can see that little bit of inlet right there, which is that right there. So, uh, and as we can see, we are starting to get a little closer. So. Once we get over there, we only have like one, two, really kind of three more points to go. So uh, we're getting close. So keep enjoying the flight. I'm not sure, but I think we're right here at uh, uh, Big River, which should be right here. We're going to be turning slightly going up this direction. And uh, by the looks of things here, as we swing up through here, let me uh, kind of keep us get uh, squared away here before I uh, crash us into the ground. Uh, We can follow, uh, the course actually takes us, I think, up through here, uh, but this also swings around. So I think I'm going to go around this way. I think that might be a little more scenic. 
and uh, probably a little easier flying uh, outside the cab here. So, uh, so move that up out of the way and uh, yeah, continue to enjoy the flight. should be just about to this turn right here and that if I think looking back out over there is our bay and so our airport should be as we make the turn around should be down in here someplace uh, we're gonna have to fly around down through here we'll keep our eyes open but I believe looking at the map it looks like it's gonna be should be somewhere right in there so we're gonna probably swing around I'm guessing it probably uh, lays about like this. So we're going to swing around these hills here and then come in over the bay. And hopefully our airport will be right there. So I'm going to be flying around here a little bit and then uh, be heading into the cab here pretty soon so that we can uh, get ready to land. to minimize this I uh, am going to go ahead and uh, hop into the cab and uh, we'll finish the flight out inside uh, so that we can start uh, getting set uh, I think I can see looks like uh, buildings and stuff over there right there so that's why I think coming in and around and then flying in that way because that airport or that airstrip has to land has to lay somewhere along right there so Let's uh, go ahead and swing this around. And we'll start heading for the bay over there. Hopefully uh, I can land this tail dragger. I have such a challenge with these things. All right, we'll just follow this little river or whatever it is. I, I don't know if it's, it might be just a river. I will say this, you know, you see all the rivers up here uh, with pristine water in it. That's not necessarily the case in Alaska. There's so much glacial runoff and uh, snow melt that uh, most of the rivers are pretty muddy and gray looking. There's a few clear water rivers uh, one that I've fished for years, the Gulkana, uh over there in the interior. 
Uh, it's a clear water river when uh, it's not raining and it's the mud, but uh, it uh, uh, it is a uh, lovely river and I love it. I've fished it a lot. And then the Clatina, which is glacial colored, but it's a little more clearer than say like a copper river. So let's start uh, coming out here. And if we start uh, swinging back and around. All goes well as we get swung around, follow the coastline here. We should see an airport, or at least I'm hoping. Otherwise, we are in a world of hurt. Where is it? I didn't misjudge this too badly. Five hundred. And come on. Hopefully there's an airport over there along that sandy beach. Oh, I think I see it right there. Just, uh, you'll see it as we start turning around. Uh, I better, uh, let off on the throttle. Better set, uh, a flap. We better set another flap. And there's our airstrip. Uh, let's get the swung around here. All right. Let's see if we can do this. We're not exactly lined up. Let's come on, let's get lined up a little better than that. Have enough problems. Okay. All right. Good so far. Come on, get down on the ground. There we go. All right, let's see if we can get it stopped now. There's our parking. And let's see if we can uh, get turned in there. All right. Well, that one actually wasn't too bad. Okay. I think when we come to a stop here, It's going to, it should give us leg completed. There we go. Took a little longer than what they say it should take, but that's okay. We were kind of flying around there enjoying the, the sight. So uh, that was leg number six, Nelson Lagoon uh, to Perryville Airport. Uh, 90, just a little over 90 kilometers, 91 kilometers nautical miles so uh uh yeah well i hope you uh, enjoyed the video if you did please hit that thumbs up it really helps the video out a lot and uh, please subscribe that really helps the channel and ring that bell it'll let you know when i am uh, uploading new uh videos and i am doing that on a weekly basis okay all you flight simmers out there uh keep those smooth landings coming and uh, with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.